Okay, so I have a small blind buy video for you guys today. I ordered from Fragrance X. This is somewhat of an exciting one because this is a perfume that everyone and their freaking moms are talking about. And then one other one I feel like is just beginning to get some buzz, even though it's not a new perfume, it's an older perfume, but it's starting to like get some buzz. I'm starting to hear more and more people talk about it. If I can get the box open. I'm getting hot right now. Okay, so the first perfume, I'm gonna just get it out the way now. And it is Libre by YSL. Um, so I smelled this one time on a paper tester at, was it Macy's or something a couple of weeks ago. Um, I fell in love with the way that it smelled. I think that was my first time smelling a lavender perfume, period. Um, so needless to say, first of all, it smelled really different and unique. I loved the lavender that was in it. It was like a fresh scent, and I'm a fan of fresh scents. I wear fresh scents year-round pretty much because I go to the gym. Um, but I feel like this is a fresh scent that is like more of like a classy going out type of fresh scent. Um, and I was just, I really like fell in love with it when I smelled it on the paper. Ooh, look at this bottle. Look at this bottle beautiful wow so this little thing right here was expensive guys very expensive um i'm excited to smell it on my skin i don't know should i read the notes to you guys i mean i feel like a lot of you already know what the notes are because this is like a really popular scent um but basically this is a white floral lavender scent with like a little bit of citrus pretty much to just sum it up really quick so i'm just going to spray it on my hand okay so i'm noticing that like you probably i don't know if you can see it but it's leaving kind of like a sheen on my hand which tells me that this has a good amount of oil in it which tells me that this is going to be a perfume that lasts a long time but it smells it smells so good it's like a fresh like lavender laundry scent kind of with a nice like zesty orange peel what is, what i know it's like a, it's like a citrus i wonder if it's mandarin orange it smells like mandarin orange yeah it's mandarin orange so you definitely smell that mandarin orange lavender and white flower it just smells so fresh and crisp I feel like I always am looking for like a nice like fresh crispy perfume. I feel like one that I smelled that left an imprint on me was Women by Calvin Klein and that one just smelled like fresh like crisp laundry linen but it was like too crisp. <laughs> I feel like this would be killer in the spring and summer. This is definitely like a warm weather type of scent. I don't know if I'm gonna get any use out of it for this winter. I mean, I might. I mean, I could if I wanted to. There was a perfume, I think it was, it was by Calvin Klein. I smelled it um, maybe a couple of years ago, but it smelled like fresh laundry. And this is kind of reminding me of that, but with a little bit of a sweet orange twist to it. And I feel like as it dries down, the more and more orange comes out and the more vanilla comes out. Um, this smells awesome. I feel like this would be a great choice for um, an office scent, um, an older lady. <laughs> I don't want to say like elderly, but this is definitely not um, a young girl scent. This is like a mature, grown woman type of daytime scent. Oh, it smells awesome. I love it. Okay, this next scent is gaining a little bit of talk here on youtube i've seen it in a couple of videos and it is 
<laughs> it's Cinema, also by YSL. I got the little small, um, I think this is a splash. Yeah, it's a splash. So I'm gonna look up the notes really quick for this one. I'm excited to smell this one because I feel like I've seen it in so many videos and basically people are describing it as like a unique um, vanilla scent with like a, a twist to it. So Fragrantica describes it as a floral, vanilla, amber, sweet, citrus scent and the notes are or almond, oops, sorry. The notes are almond blossom, clementine, cy cyclamen. Middle notes are jasmine, peony, amaryllis. Base notes are vanilla, amber, benzoin, and white musk. So, it's looking like a floral vanilla, pretty much, yeah. So I'm excited to smell this. I really don't like splashes, but just gonna put a little bit on. Oh, okay. This is different. Wow. So definitely very, very, very floral. And then you, you get the um, the clementine. This is kind of a strong scent right now because I only poured a little tiny bit on my hand and it's like sucking up all the oxygen in front of me. <laughs> okay, so this is a very, very floral scent. Like I'm getting a lot, a lot, a lot of florals. This smells a little bit different than I thought. I thought I was gonna get a little bit more vanilla, but it's definitely almost mostly florals that I'm getting right now. I put a lot on my hand, I put way too much. So this is giving me daytime fresh scent. So it, it does, I'm not gonna lie and say that it doesn't have any sweetness. It does have sweetness in it from the orange, but it's coming off of like, as like a zesty sweet, more than like a creamy, like typical vanilla sweet. I mean, it makes sense that it smells so floral because orange blossom, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different floral notes in this on the top and the middle. So it makes sense that it smells mostly floral. I was just hoping for a little bit more creaminess, like a little bit more um, vanilla, basically. But it smells good. It smells good. It's kind of reminding me of something. It's kind of reminding me of like... This is gonna sound bad, but it's kind of reminding me of like a Glade, one of the, one of the Glade plugins that you put in your wall. It's kind of reminding me of that a little bit, but like in a better way, like in a more classy. All right, so it's a few minutes after <clears throat> I finished recording that blind buy video. I just want to come back in and say that the cinema actually did get much, much more vanilla. Yeah, that creamy vanilla did come through that I was hoping for, so I'm actually really excited now. <laughs> it's just like, I guess on the opening, it's just like a really strong burst of florals, but then that creamy vanilla does come in at the end. You just gotta let it dry down a little bit. But yeah, the dry down is like amazing. I would definitely wear this. This would be great for the, um, this would be great for the um, spring and summer. So I just wanted to come back in and um, add that in to dry down. It does have that nice creamy vanilla. So yeah. like when I'm closing my eyes and smelling this, I'm just imagining like a nice bright sunny day in the park with like a bed of flowers to the side of you. It smells really good. It's really pleasant. Definitely a very pleasant smell. So yes, that was Cinema by YSL. Good thing I got a little splash of it because I was about to get a big old bottle. <laughs> But good thing I didn't. Um, so I only have two video, two. Um, I only have two perfumes to review in this video. So that is the end. Thank you for watching. Um, I have other perfume related videos on my channel. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in my next one.